All right, this is another bond problem. A company issues 3 million face value five-year bonds dated January 1st, 2015, when the market interest rate on the bonds of comparable risk in terms is 5%. The bonds pay 4% interest annually on December 31st. Based on the effective interest rate method, the carrying amount of the bonds on the year it is issued uh, at the end of the year uh, is closest to a couple of answers here. All of them are below the three, $30 million, all right? So the bonds uh, are required to pay 5% by the market, but the coupon payments uh, only pay 4%. So it's a discount. All of these are less than 30,000. So we're actually gonna have to kind of do this the hard way and figure, figure this out. So let's put this in the problem. It's a five-year bond and $30 million, and it's paid at the end of the year. All right, clear everything out of our time value of money. And let's put in the numbers, 30 million is our future value, our payment. Uh, the market requires a 5% payment on this. So, oh, no, we don't, no, <laughs> almost messed that up. It is not that, it's the coupon payment. The coupon payment is what we put in there. It's the coupon payment of of 1,200,000 is the payment per period. Uh, and that was the 4% times the 30 million. All right, so 4% times the 30 million, Second to quit. Uh, and then the interest rate per year, what's required by the market is 5% is the interest rate per year. And then these are five-year bonds, N equals five. Second quit, and then let's look at uh, the payments per year equals one. Compute present value, 28,701,157. So, so the way we kind of get to what the carrying amount is gonna be, it's gonna be whatever our interest expense is, net the amount we pay in the cash flow. So let's write this amount down. So we write down the value, this is the present value, and sometimes the answer, uh, one of the options will be this amount, and that's a surefire way to trick someone into putting the answer down that's wrong. They feel like they've calculated something, so it must be right. It's It'll be wrong. So that times, what we need to do is that times whatever the market rate of interest is, it is 5%. So that times the 5, and let's go like this, times 0.05% equals 1,435,057. And we're just going to make it 058. So you have to make sure that you're pulling the right percentages to get the right answers on this. So we've just used the market right here. And what's our coupon rate? Our coupon rate is that 4%, all right? So we have to figure out what the 30 million is. We just figured it out over here on our, on figuring out our payments times that 4% is. It was $1.2 million. So what we have to do is we have to take the delta of these two, right? These two, we have to take the delta of these two. What is that net difference? Well, it looks like it's about 235,058, right? 235,058. And that, that this was the carrying amount on the bond. So 235,058, we're gonna have to write up that bond by that amount. And it turns out that if you just do this in your head, the 28,701, plus uh, the 235, it's gonna equal C, the 936. We can just ballpark it and we know it's there. We know it's not this and we know it's not this. It doesn't go down by that much. And they're gonna try to trick you by subtracting it or adding it and you have to know what you're gonna do with it. In this case, we add to it and we get 28,936, uh, 215.